Demon here. Now, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install custom zombie maps on Windows 10. This site I'm using is Zommods. They have World at War maps and Black Ops 3 maps, and I'm going to be showing you Newtown Remastered. So, once this site loads, I'm going to be using the Google Drive link, because Mega is just always super slow for me. So, when you get to here, you just want to hit download, and then download anyways. And now, as you can see down in the bottom left-hand corner, the map's downloading. So, I'll be back when it's done downloading. It's done downloading. Now, what you do is you just drag it onto your desktop. And now that's on your desktop, you can just put it wherever you want to. I'll just put it there. And you launch it. You run it as an administrator, but it's already set to do that. Now, once it pops up saying if you want to allow it, just hit yes. Hit, oh, well, I accidentally opened it twice, but once this pops up, you just want to hit next. I agree, and hit finish. Now, if it's not an automated installer like that is, or this. We're just going to say it was installed correctly. Hope it was. If it doesn't show up like that, you can actually just hit start, well, Windows, and R. And in this box, as I already have it typed out, but it's percent app data percent. And now you just want to go back to app data, local, Activision. For this to actually show up, you want to make sure you at least run World at War once. And now you hit call of duty we're at war now if there isn't anything like a folder that says mods just right click uh new and folder and just name it mods and now in here you'll see it's installed and that's how you go about installing mods thanks for watching and see you in the next one